First News with Keeler in the morning on WIBX and WIBX950.com. On the line right now is uh, Rob Ash. You have comments? Rob, good morning. Good morning, guys. Got to say, uh, what a crazy year this has been, but uh, congratulations. You'll have fans in the seats, not as many as you want, but fans in the seats on Friday. Yeah, it's really exciting. Uh, the, I know the players are looking forward to it, our coaching staff, and obviously our staff uh, in general. It's, it has been a long uh, 13 months or so, so we're, we're looking forward to it. All right, so can you just give us a, a rundown on how this all, how it works? Yeah, so the state came out with guidance uh, for the smaller venues, uh, so we kind of fought for a while after the 10,000 capacity thing came out, and uh, and the guidance we got, obviously, um, there's three ways to get into the game. The easiest way being, you know, if you're fully vaccinated uh, and kind of have that curing period of 14 days, you show your vaccination. That's the easiest way, and then... Um, the second easiest way, I guess, would be if uh, your employer's, you know, PCR testing you. Uh, you can show that as a negative test result. If not, you go uh, and get a PCR test or an antigen test and, uh, you know, just show your negative test result and then, you know, just come right on in. It's crazy. you gotta, you got to have a, a, a negative result in order to get in, in the door. But that's the world we're living in right now. It's, it's, uh, yeah. it's crazy. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's, uh, it is crazy. You know, I, I understand, uh, all of it. I, I definitely empathize with the situation. I know it's been a serious situation for the globe for the last, uh, you know, 14, 15 months here. So, you know, I, I, I think it's going to be an amazing thing. Like I said, uh, just as we get closer to normalcy, uh, we were at the Utica college game the other day. It was really exciting. Yeah. I know the Comets this year, we have a, we have a great team, a lot of, powerful forwards and they're exciting to watch so i think the i think the 400 will be pretty impressed so um and it gets you back in uh, it gets you back in the uh gets you back into something you're going out somewhere for a purpose and i for entertainment for entertainment other well, than your I, couch i cannot wait for that and 400 people is probably what other ahl teams get realistically throughout the year i mean that's probably their max <laughs> so. that's funny well, no, we got a great fan base, as everybody knows. It's uh, the Comets are a lot bigger than just hockey. They, they're great in the community. They're great assets to all of us. Uh, so we're humbled to to have them here. And then this year, what we did, which was, uh, you know, we're just doing it during COVID. We thought it'd be pretty cool to just have an all inclusive ticket. So kind of like when you go on cruises or resorts and stuff like that, you see it. But it's uh, all you can eat and drink. So we think it's going to be a a fun process. You know, there was. You know, no exchanging of cards and money and all that. It's just come into the odd, go to your concessions when you Mm. feel like you want to, and grab some food and drinks. So, Rob, I noticed in the release that the team sent out about the the policies and procedures that are in place for the upcoming games, it said, but they said, kind of be patient with us. We're, We're working on a new ticketing system for next season. Is that physically taking tickets, or are you playing with the idea of an all inclusive ticket going forward when it's normal, when it's not COVID season? Uh, a little bit of both. You know, one, you know, all these venues are moving to full digital tickets and getting mm-hmm. out of the print tickets. And I think our sports, any live sports are going to be changed in the future. You know, just like restaurants will be changed in the future uh, coming out of COVID. And I think, you know, so the one aspect of it is the digital ticketing, uh, which we feel strongly about, you know, less printing of the paper ticket and, and that stock. We are toying with the idea of making it an all-inclusive uh, style ticket, so you just come in and eat and drink for free. Uh, we'll see what uh, we'll see what the fans say about it this year. Um, you know, and again, it's just a test run. I think you know it serves a great purpose uh, during COVID right now because again, you know, you're not forming up these line these long right. queues and lines and things like that. You're not standing there and you know interacting with people at a longer period of time. So. We feel like it checks a lot of boxes. Um, you know, I know there's a team down in Georgia, a baseball team that does that. I think it's the Georgia Bananas or something like that. Savannah nice name, Bananas. Yeah. Uh, they do an all-inclusive <laughs> ticket. Yeah. They d- I don't believe they include beer. Uh, we are including beer. So, um, you know, I, I haven't really seen it done, but I do know it's it's very uh, relaxing situation to yeah. just go up and, and grab what you need. Yeah, and that you don't that's have a the, really good deal. I mean, face it, the, the you dirty get a money. Beer? It is. Yeah, it's and money. In addition to tickets, money is just 
so germ carrying and dirty as it is to not have to exchange cash and coins. Uh, that's got to that that cuts down on the spread I'm of virus too. So if I jinx myself, I am going to be so mad. <laughs> but I have not had a common cold in one year. I haven't, I haven't had a cold. I hate colds because of what I do for a living. But it, when you think about this, all of this stuff has. Uh, I mean, yeah, we're fighting we're fighting COVID, but the fact that you're washing your hands ninety times a day and you're doing all, all of these things. We're paying we're paying attention to stuff that we never really did before, and Rob, I think you're right. There are some things that are that that are going to go away after COVID, um, but I think there are. I know there we're seeing it happen, and this is a great example. There are some things that are going to stick around where we're saying, you know what, this is better than what we did before. I agree with you, and I think you know live sports is one of them. We've all watched sports on television without the fans and. You know, as a former athlete, it's hard to kind of put into words how much fans mean to the athletes. And even when we were watching our Comets games, you know, without the fans, um, you know, it's tough for those players. I mean, they really pick up the energy um, from the people in the facility. And I think that that's one thing that will never go away. I don't care where you are. I think live sports is a remarkable, fun thing. It puts your mind in a better place. You're not thinking about all the nonsense going around in your world. But to your point, I do think there's going to be a lot of things that, you know, we've noticed that we can do better. You know, it's put a focus and an energy on, you know, just making sure that you're operating an ultra-clean, safe environment. We went out, we bought uh, different filters for our air filtration system months ago uh, to be prepared for this day. There's just a lot of things that, you know, flew under the radar that maybe might not have been in the – in the focal point at that yeah. at that time, and it's forced us uh, into a better place in some aspects. Interesting. When it comes to the uh, the end game experience, will you still have uh, vendors walking around? Uh, I guess distributing the beverages, or uh, maybe fifty fifty vendors. Uh, no, we're going to keep them right in the concession stands. Yeah. We don't want uh, you know our people milling around and and kind of. Yeah, you got to think about that unco- stuff. Yeah. Feeling uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, all of our staff is get, uh, obviously has to get tested as well. So, I mean, it, it is going to be an environment that is ultra safe. Uh, you know, and I understand it's it's a little difficult if you haven't had your vaccine to go out and get the tests and things of that nature. And, you know, it's already been 13 months, and I think, you know, we've been patient in this process, and yeah. I think better yeah. days are coming. All right, final final thing I want to throw at you here, and this might be something for your staff, but uh, yeah. but uh, so last night I went online and I bought um, I bought a, a two seat package because and, and by the way it comes in two four six and uh, it's two four and six two four and six anyway I bought a, a I bought the the two seat package because I I want to do a contest on the air and give it away to somebody and then Manaski this morning said you can't transfer it I can't give them away. Is there a way for me to pull this contest off, or did I just uh, make a mistake? No, we can work with you. The one thing we didn't want to do is have these people buy, the, you know, have fans buy tickets and put them on StubHub. Mm, I think okay. with 400 people, we were mainly looking at, you know, the genuine fan that wants to come and, you know, appreciate the building, the team, you know, Got it. being, you know, a little bit normal for the time. But, no, we can definitely work with you on All that. All right. Okay. So we have a contest we're going to do this week to uh, to get people thinking about Friday night. I love it. Thank All right. you, Rob. Rob, thank you so much. <laughs> Congratulate. <laughs> hey, if somebody tells me I can't do it, I'm like, I talked to Rob. Talk Sorry. to the boss. Sorry. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> so, All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. At least once a night. At the, you know, I know it's been a long time, but when you get people in the and ticket, to, somebody's got to every night say, "I talked to Rob. He said this was perfectly fine. Just ask him." Uh, I said sure. it on the Keeler show. If, you're, if yeah. you walk around the odd, you'll find out real quick. I'm not the boss there either. I, <laughs> I totally understand that. All right, Rob. Congratulations. Thank you, and we'll see you Friday night. Thanks, everybody. All right. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, by the way, I think we go to, so the, the the season ticket holders, that opportunity, that window where you have first shot at buying the tickets, that ends this uh, ends today. That 24-hour warning was given yesterday. And then these tickets will be opened up to anybody. So if you want to go Friday night, um, your opportunity, your window will open today. Uh, just log on to the Comets website for uh, for details. 
And we'll have a link for you up on our website as well to, uh, to show you how you can get out there and take advantage. Got a break.